Good morning. We're going to Salt Spring Island today. It is about 6 a.m. and all the reservations to get on the ferry were taken. So I just want to make sure that I'm there early enough. Does it matter if I'm waiting in line? Because, excuse me, because my bed is right there. And I can just make coffee and wander. Salt Spring Island has been on my list for years. They have a Saturday night or Saturday market there that is like world renowned. <laughs> also, it's just crazy that we have these amazing islands in Canada and so many people don't even know about them. So I'm going to take you along with me to Salt Spring Island. <laughs> It's like I'm gonna pull up to the teller person and they're gonna be like, actually, you can't get to Salt Spring Island from Tawasin, which is a Vancouver terminal. But like, what's the worst thing can happen? Or like, they'll tell me that it's closed and I have to come back in an hour. Like, literally, the, what's the worst that can happen? I have to drive to a different terminal and I actually don't even know that there is another one. I'm sure there is, but I don't, I, like this anxiety is completely unwarranted. It's the fact that I've never done this before. I have taken the ferry to Victoria, but never to Salt Spring Island. So anything new feels strange because it's new. But literally the worst that can happen is like, I'm gonna have to turn around and drive to a different terminal. It's fine. I'm curious to see how much this is going to cost because with this big beautiful gal who at the end of this video I am going to reveal the new name that you guys totally helped me with. Woo! So stay tuned. Hi, good morning. It's so early and bright. I'm, I'm going to Salt Spring Island and so do I just... That's okay. No. Okay. Um, how do I find out if there's a reservation for another boat from Victoria? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'll just pull over and do that and see, see what works. Do you know what the likelihood of me getting on is? Okay. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. All right. So today could possibly be a long day. Um, where is the exit? So, because the reservations were full, next time, travel tip, you guys, make a reservation. Um, because they were full, I am going to go to stand by the trees to stand by to see if I can get on. Um, there is another option for me to go from Victoria. So, I could buy a ticket to Victoria and then go to the islands from there. So we'll see. I'm not discouraged because like at the end of the day, I know I'm going to get there. Um, and I do really like the act of travel. So now I just have to figure out how to get out. I'm on the side by standby um, for getting on to the ferry for Guelph Islands, for Salt Spring Islands. And I just looked out online to see uh, what it looks like going from Victoria to Salt Spring Island and 
there's like a hundred percent space and they're sailing every two hours so I think I might just go to Victoria and then go to Salt Spring Island from there I'm never ever done that so it's like do I then leave the terminal and then go back and like I guess it doesn't matter because I'm gonna do it Okay, we're going to Victoria. I went back in line for the Victoria ticket. She's just checking what's better, standby or if I go to Victoria. The other lady wasn't. I mean, she did her best. The other one looks like eight okay. For Victoria? Okay, yeah. Um, Whatever you think is best. So, like, do I just pay to go to Victoria? Yeah. So I'll just pay. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Uh, yes. Um, Thank you. No. And so, this is a through fare? Very cool. I've never done this before. You've been most helpful. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good day. You've been so helpful. Oh, which way am I going? 32, slight left. Thank you. She was awesome. I think the other lady maybe just was like tired and over it. It's like 6.40 a.m. and I pull up and I'm like, hi. That's a lot. I know. But I'm okay with it. One thing you guys, don't ever make yourself small to fit somebody else's energy. I have big, big energy. I know this. And like, it's okay. I'm happy with myself. And so should you. If you feel like you're ever toning yourself down in the space of people, those aren't your people. I didn't have to tone myself down for her. Anyways, she was lovely, the first lady. Um, but the second lady was most helpful. Going to Victoria. So you get a through fare. It was 90, I think it was 90 bucks. 90. $90.85 for this, for myself and this big rig. For a through fare. That's decent. She said she'd try and get us on the um, ferry for 7 a.m. I don't know if I'm getting on it this one. this is the process that stops a lot of people from doing things that they really want to do because it is scary but like literally the worst that can happen like I said is somebody's gonna say no and kick me out of the yard see that guy just yelled at me he's like go it's all the way in front of you. I was like, okay. But we're getting on. I haven't even had my coffee yet. Oh, I can't wait. I'm going to chill. I'm going to make some coffee. And then I'm going to take my coffee up and look at the view. Myself. Oh, you guys almost fell. Oh, you good? You're good? I am gonna make some coffee and then I'm gonna head upstairs. 
and just watch the water go by. Oh, I should probably make my bed. I just got the knock. I'm not allowed to make coffee. I gotta go upstairs. Okay, no problem. No problem. Everything's gonna fall, so let's put it all away. Oh. Have a good day. Okay, that was actually super simple. Do not let this discourage you. Where is lane 35? 13 to 54. Okay. Uh, so, you basically just, I got on uh, from Vancouver to Victoria. And then as soon as it's done, you get off and you drive around and you go up and you basically pull a U-turn and then you enter back in. So the through ticket is super easy. Um, if you ever stuck in standby and you're like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, just, I think it's totally worth it. Just, it's an extra 20 bucks to go to Victoria. And then, is it an extra 20 bucks? Something like that. But yeah, easy, this is so easy. You guys, I actually think I'm gonna get to Salt Spring Island faster by doing it this way, had I waited for to see if I could get on the 8:40 ferry, uh, I I like I'm already boarding and it's 8:46, so I'm not sure how long this one is, but like there would have been a stopover anyways, uh, had I taken it like a Salt Spring ferry stopover somewhere else, uh, so. This is actually working out to be quite quick. I can't believe I'm going to Salt Spring Island. <laughs> Tomorrow's the market. The only, the only thing is though, is I live in a van and for me to buy all the things I wanna buy, it's just not possible. I have nowhere to put everything. I mean, if I organized my garage, I'm sure I could, but. Really, all I want is coffee anyways, and I just want to eat some goodies.
goodness, there's some, a deer in somebody's front yard. Um, it's like being in a movie. It's like, it's amazing here, you guys. It's, I'm, I'm actually kind of speechless. It's very different from getting off of the ferry in Victoria. It's very different from entering into, um, I, I'm so distracted. Um, entering into the Vancouver area, like, wow. I'm, fun fact, you can drive this island from one side to the other in 45 minutes. I haven't looked at the map. I have no idea where I'm going but I'm just gonna keep driving until I see something I wanna stop and look at and um, maybe make some breakfast if I can. So I'm gonna put you guys down and just experience this. Beautiful. I spent the night at Mohina Creek campsite. I booked this site months ago because I checked the iOverlander app and it didn't show a lot of places for campers to um, boondock. So I just didn't want to get stuck driving around the island and then being paranoid and then feeling like, uh, maybe I'm not welcome, which is not the case at all. Like, everyone is welcome here. This place is insane. So yesterday, all I did was I pulled into the campsite and then I just wandered the town. Um, I drove around the island and I checked out um, a couple spots and then I just parked the van and I walked and walked and walked and it, it's, it's absolutely beautiful here. It has its own vibe. Like I said, it's like you're not even in Canada. The vegetation is different. Uh, the people are different. What I'm really, really, really loving about this island is that, like, everyone is original. Everybody does their own thing. Everybody um, works towards sustainable living. There's about 11,000 people on this island. Their only predator is a raccoon. I will confirm that fact, but I, but I Googled that. You know, facts, fun facts about Salt Spring Island. Mm. They... It's like you have permission and a place here to be whatever you want to be. I actually, I'm, I bumped into a man yesterday uh, as, as I was like doing my rounds and walking through all the stores. And of course, I bumped into him at a grocery store slash cafe and he bought me an Americano. Very nice. A man called Freedom, who originally was from Edmonton and then um, his family moved here. So he kind of gave me a little bit of info about the island and he's like, a lot of people move here and there's like two ways that can go. Either you get chewed up and spit out or you succeed. So it's like bitter failure or absolute success. As long as you have a work ethic and um, you're just willing to put in the time and energy, like you can do anything you want here. And there's so much opportunity here for some really amazing things. Um, but also like don't because it's perfect the way it is. I was like, Oh, wow, well, maybe I just won't leave. Like it literally is like being in a movie set. And, and I swear I can name 10 movies that I think have been filmed here today. I'm going to the market. One thing you guys are going to find out about me over time is I love going to markets. I love going to grocery stores. Like, I don't care if it's a small town grocery store or convenience store or if it's like a Whole Foods in New York City. 
that is on my to-do list every single time. The market here is, like I said, it's world renowned. Everybody knows about this market and it's, it's a huge draw for people. People come here all year round to see this market. I'm um, probably just going to get a couple bites to eat, like as many as I can, and I'm going to take you guys through the market and then probably a hike up to Ruckle Park. So two nights here on this island, and then uh, next stop is Tofino and Euclid. Euclid. But for now, I'm going to make change and make a little bit of breakfast. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Yummy. Mmm. I didn't ever make this before. It turned out really good. Mmm. Mmm. I love when that happens. I'm currently in the middle of the Salt Spring Island market and they have everything here. They have sculptors, they have bakers, they have carvers, they have jewelers, they have books, they have kids selling their art, um, they have mini donuts! Yeah, mini donuts. on this leg of the trip. Honestly, Salt Spring Island is magic. It's not hard to get to. Go for it if it's on your list. It's absolutely stunning. Please subscribe, like, comment, and hit that notification bell. See you guys on the next one. Also, everyone, welcome Rhonda Burgundy.